McPherson about ready to get this going as we are underway now from Paul Brown Stadium from the six. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now we get our first look at the hometown kid, rookie Kenny Pickett from the University of Pittsburgh as he leads the Steeler offense out for their first possession. Tell you what, partner, he might just be a rookie, but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter, go, and he go, carries himself go. like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he is advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. Well, he's going to take a shot right away. This is caught inside the 15. A big play there on the first play of the game. 67 yards. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. And I think we all expected to see this offense take some shots downfield, but I don't know if we expected it on the very first play of the game, but they aired it out. And how about that for an opening statement? One snap, six points. And the final number on Next Gen Stats, how about this, 71 yards through the air. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Pickett back to throw. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. And Charles, we get a look there at the draft class for this offense. What do you make of it? Well, overall, I like the balance of the guys that they selected because, to me, they got a few guys who can step in and play right away, which is exactly what you want. But they also drafted for the future as well. They got some guys who might need a year or two on the practice squad. So then we'll find out if they can actually play. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Now it appears we have a Steeler here slow to get up. Boy, fingers crossed here. First quarter of a new season already an injury. And while they attend to him, we'll step aside. Looking to cash in on this opening drive. Here's third and goal. Pick it a look to throw it here. Open man is Johnson. Touchdown Steelers. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Steelers are on the board here first in the season opener. Those are the drives that prove a lot. You got a rookie quarterback, Charles, you're on the road, takes him down, throws the touchdown pass. And in a game like this, with, as you described, a rookie quarterback, the team usually says, okay, we got to take care of this guy. We got to protect him. But when he goes out and plays like this on the first drive on the road, he doesn't have to say, I'm here to be your leader. They just need to follow him. I'm just learning how to spell analytics, and I need to get that down because it's going to be a huge part of the NFL game going forward. I think that was the call there, trying to go for two after that touchdown. Yeah, opening drive, You not only do you get the six, but fully seize momentum with the eight. And Couldn't do it. I think they were trying to gain that huge advantage, not just on the scoreboard, but mentally. I just wonder if that backfires a little yeah. when they stop you. Taylor decides not to try to return it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Now the Bengals getting set for their first possession of the ball game and leading them out in his third season. Really the go. face of Cincinnati football, Joe Burrow. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. And a Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. The safety blitz staged to perfection that time as they sack him for a loss of six. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless really in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And they decided to go with the safety blitz there. And look, if that gets picked up... Ready? Quarterback really has the advantage then because he'll have more time to throw the football and some wide open space. But when it doesn't, that's a guy who gets a free run into the backfield. And oftentimes, the QB ends up on his backside as he did there. He is taken down at the 21 after a short right. gain of two. And if you're wondering just how quickly that sack occurred, the next-gen stats tell us 2.6 seconds is all he had to throw the football. Going up top. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. 
On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Here's Austin. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season, and they'll get another shot here with a first and 10. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Boy, just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of a new season. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside for a moment. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Pick it to throw on first down. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Excellent recognition that none of his receivers were beating coverage and getting open, so he just threw that one away. They'll come back to the huddle reset and try something different. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Back to throw, pick it. Quick hitter here, it's complete five yards now it's third and five that's a staple of this offense drag route to the tight end yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch but still an effective gain nonetheless in need of a conversion on third down they had the big play to start the drive not much sense throwing there but this pass is going to wind up incomplete well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. Now pick it on fourth down. The quick slant caught. And the Steelers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Pickett going to bootleg it. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Zach Gentry. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Steelers are able to strike for six. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. So they call it a touchdown originally. This will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Pickett will try to throw for this. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back, get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. Cincinnati I'm coming right, back onto the field here for their second drive. They find themselves in a good size hole right, here, in a good size hole go, early go, on go. in this game as they come up on first down. Burrow's throw here on target to Hurst. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. To throw again on second down, Burrow. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Burrow will throw. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. Here we go, here we go. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time lucky that the arm is going forward. Incomplete pass. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. 
plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up Here front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. 12-0 to score after one. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. Go. It's the Bengals with the football here. As they've got it with a third 11, down 11, coming 11, up. 11, MT, 11, mighty. 11, from the mighty. shotgun, Joe Burrow. And this is going to be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Take a look at Deontay Johnson as this offense runs back out, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. He's getting big yardage with each and every one of them. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. On the delay, here's Harris. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. Shoves him away. A great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On first and 10, it's Pickett. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Trey Hendrickson showing off his pass rush repertoire that time. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Pick it. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. First and 10, here's Pickett. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. But following the play here, now we've got an injury. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Looking to throw, Pickett. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there, ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. And the Steelers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 10. He's gonna go up top again. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A big play that time for Pittsburgh. 41 yards. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Harris running straight ahead. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. 
different story this time around. We had that huge gain followed by a sizable loss here. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Locates Claypool on the crossing route. And the Steelers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off for big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. On second and goal. Pick it. The quick slant caught. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. But another completion there. And what a big moment in a young quarterback's life that first NFL started. Charles, obviously they want him to win games, but if they're looking at him under a microscope in this first month or so, what do you think they're hoping to see from him? Well, for every question they'll have for him, they should. Open man is Johnson. Touchdown Steelers. Deontay Johnson. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Steelers are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. They'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack. And they fail on the try for two. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. Fielded right around the eight. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Bengals going to take over late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. First down. Here's Burrow. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under go, 40 ticks to go in this first half. A first and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half. And it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Well, the way things have been going to this one, Charles, it was only a matter of time before this defense got involved and made a big play, and they do right there. Gosh, this lead is so large, CD, and we're only in the first half. Yeah, and I think that's the thing that's so amazing about it. You mentioned this large lead. How is this their first takeaway? And what a spectacular one it was. Adding to the lead, showing the true dominance, and you're exactly right. We're still in the first half. Extra point put through by Boswell. And the route is on here in this first half. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This one taken just inside the 10. And he returns this to the 22. Now the Bengal offense going to see the ball one more time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop go. it with 25 seconds to go here in half number here one. Go. On second and very short, Burrow. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Get something together. 
Gun, gun. This offense gun. finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From midfield now, Burrow. Now again, that's Hurst. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Nifty running there, but it'll come on what should be the final play of half number one. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We begin 2022 up in the Tar Heel State. Cleveland paying the opening day visit to Carolina. And it's the Browns who have the lead in the second quarter. Two touchdown passes there for Deshaun Watson. Next, we'll stay in the NFC South. We head to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And for the moment, they trail the visiting Saints in that one. Jarvis Landry, a touchdown reception. Finally, we finish at MetLife Stadium to see what's going on with the Jets. And they've got the lead in that one over the visiting Baltimore Ravens. Elijah Moore, a touchdown reception. Time now for a check of the next-gen stats for the Steelers in that first half. And it was important for them to get the season off on the right foot. And they've done just that, thanks to a very solid outing by their passing offense thus far. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, they were on the other end of the spectrum in terms of passing efficiency. It looks like we'll have to wait another week to get our first halftime report of the season as we move right along to the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Takes it at the seven. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. And the Bengal offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board. They begin to have hope. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Burrow, and that one complete once again to Higgins. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Here we go, here we Still go. in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them may be the wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Back to Mixon on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, this defense, they've got the four-score advantage, and you can see why they continue to bottle up the run game, and really, they've just been sharp at all facets here in this one, CD. Yeah, they've kept that offense in check the entire game, and I think it's been led by what you just talked about, that defensive front, which has not allowed them to run the football and establish control of the line of scrimmage. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. And the Bengals are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way go, down to the one. 11 MP. 12, 12, 12. They'll give it to Mixon. And he is going to lose yardage here. 
A loss of two there, second down. This defense is just flat getting I'm after right. it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. 12, 11, 11. Another try for Mixon, and he pulls his way into the end zone for a Bengal touchdown. Joe Mixon, his first rushing touchdown on the year, and the Bengals are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and that'll cut the lead down to 18. A 10-play drive that time, and it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead. It's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime and sit on the sideline. Back now in Cincinnati. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. This is Harris on the draw. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming out. Oh, now Harris lost it. It's a fumble. And the Bengals have recovered it. Well, maybe it hasn't exactly been a Rembrandt, but they've been mistake-free to this point and finally cough it up. I don't think it's going to cost them the game. They should be fine. But, boy, they're going to hate that going back and watching tape and being able to say we were that close to achieving our goal of zero turnovers yeah, during the game. A little blemish, but as you say, still comfortably in command. 11, 11, 11, 11. They will throw on first down with Burrow. He completes it to Boyd. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That one good for 15, and the Bengals get a first down. If I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Jet sweep, Boyd with it. And he is going to lose yardage here. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth tank. down. 11 MT tank. 11 mighty. 11 Thomas. Dad. They'll run with Mixon. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. Denied on fourth down is Joe Mixon. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. Pickett leads his Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 11. Pickett now on first down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that is incomplete. Well, the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. To the air on first down with Pickett. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
They are certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, it's the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. And he's up in it after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Here we go. It's Pickett on fourth down. Open man. That's the tight end, Fryermuth. And he is going to have the Steelers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. That one looks like he'll throw here. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Playing success in this game already. Two touchdown catches, but that was a very dangerous throw. But you have to understand, with two catches already for touchdowns, they're going to try and force it to him at times as well. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. On the give, this is Harris, and he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. Now Pickett on fourth down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this one is incomplete. Mike Tomlin takes a shot here, but to no avail. And the Bengals are going to get it back in terrific field position. Here we go. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Hayden Hurst, 43 yards. And the Bengals have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. To throw again on second down. Pick it. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Pick it a look to throw it here. Oh, he's going to go for it all. And this will be caught. We'll forget taking the knee. Some late gamesmanship here as they throw for a late touchdown. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taken charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive scores. All him throwing the football, he's in cruise control right now, and so is his team. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. 
you knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for the Steelers, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head to Dallas to take on the Cowboys.